today we have a video of cleaning a CED 12 inch desk fan from the year, uh, I think it's 2007 maybe, I don't know where I got that from, but that's just me, so yeah. Anyway, uh, it's filthy, um, it's just untangled the cord so I can manage it. This fan came very secure, as you guys probably know if you saw the video of me unboxing it. It was pretty tough to bits as it was the fan. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to have the cord on. It's tough to bits, which is good for me, as always. So, yeah. I'll just do the cord later. Anyway, first I'm going to wet wipe it. I do with all my fans, even I do with the new fans I get, obviously, so yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can really see me doing that. Yeah, I didn't know that Fans 96, this other channel, used to have this fan. There's a lot of bends in the fan. There's so many. There's literally so many bends in the fan. It's not good. It must have fallen or it been bashed around or something. Okay. That's about to be like that. Okay. And that's done. Now I'll just do the badge. Lovely. Now we can do the wire. Um, Yep. I went on the scariest lift today in school. It sounded so old and the girl said to me in class, sometimes it gets stuck and I was like, what the hell? I know I should already know that, but I was too busy concentrating on my work, not concentrating about a flipping lift or elevator. Whatever turn you want to use, yes. That one was stuck to the oscillator. The oscillator's dirty and the motor cable and is not that bad. It actually no, they're both dirty, but I'll say just dirty, which I don't get. Mm. It needs a good clean. It is quite grim and nasty. Oh, okay, there we are. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot, taking the grill off, obviously. Okay, that is loose, so I'll have to get that. It's not loose anymore. Excuse me for a second. Sorry, I never think it's necessary for a bolt or anything. It's just annoying, that's what it is. I'm gone. One sec. I just wish they didn't... Because I thought on listing it said there's no nut and bolt in the fan and I was... I always hate taking the nut and bolts off, but no, it's got to one and I'm flipping angry because you could just use a cable tie or something, they're much easier, but yeah. I said I obviously did not. Oh, there you are. Now I'll just snap off the nuts and bolts. It really are, it is quite wobbly. <laughs> Thing in my face. That's lovely. Now I wanna see if the blades come off. I have to be careful when moving this fan because it is very wobbly. I'm not so happy about it. It is not stable at all. This thing is going to fall. 
literally, I was still the goal if I didn't need how wobbly it was because it's fine, it's so wobbly, but still, not good. They should have kept the art part of the base, at least, well, if it cracked, they probably should have like, thrown it out if it did, but maybe in this case, it almost fits in all the bends and stuff. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad bends in this one. It's already took a battering for a lifetime. Maybe 2006 actually. Not too sure. Okay, that's fine. I need to oil it so that's why I got some oil there. Mm. Okay. These bits obviously just a bit of a dusty dusty thingy. And that's really it because it's like that bit doesn't the front doesn't need really to clean. But the back does. Mm. I'm trying my best to clean it, but I don't know if it's always going to work that way. Uh, it is now, so that's good. That's all I'm happy about. I do have to do maths after school for once. Yes, I do do some maths after school and I hate it. Come birds! So awfully dusty. My fan came in old newspapers, which will be quite cool that the newspapers are advertising some sort of fan. Why have they got a H on the number two button? What the? I can't get rid of that. That, that, that just looks weird. I'm sure. See? I don't know if you can see, but it's got H on number two, which makes it look really bad. Not good. Not good. <sighs> I've never known a blade cap or any vintage fan to be dirty. That's horrible. This is a filthy fan. This is disgusting. Yeah, I broke the nut and bolt. I don't care. Mm. Look at that. That's horrible. There you go. Let's fix that bend. Mm. Mm. Not that like clean and dirty found with this type of grill mesh. What do you call I know mesh grills are one of the diamond shapes, but I'm not like clean fans of the type of grill looks a bit like this. Uh, the bend in the grill as well. Okay. There you are. Sounds better. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's always bent. It's bent so bad. Even my CD9 is from the 90s. Oh, you should have seen the bend in that. This actually, it actually was on camera. I don't know if you knew that, but yeah. It's fine. I'm very dirty. If the grill wasn't so bad to clean, the light one was... Yeah, I could have been sick. It was in a horrible environment. Okay. 
Maybe if I shark this off the dusty. Okay, my oil it. First I'm going to check if I can get my meter off. Was my screwdriver too big? Oh, I can! Hey! Well, I'm not going to film the servicing, but bye.